Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back with another kit review, and this time it's the second newly promoted team, Sheffield United. Uh, they announced their home kit a couple of weeks back. We've been too busy to get around to, but today, as promised, we're finally getting around to giving it a score and a review and all that kind of stuff. They're back in the Premier League after what feels like an eternity, uh, like Norwich as well, really. All these clubs coming back, I feel like they've not been for a while. Villa, obviously, yeah, yeah. tomorrow, but they've you know, been a lot more recent than that. But it's good to have them back in the Premier League, and today we're going to review this kit and see if it lives up to the standards that we expect from Maridas. Uh, for a newly promoted team and all that kind of stuff. Phil, uh, what is it that you think about this Sheffield United kit? So I think this shirt is probably not as bad as it appears at first glance, but having said that, um, you know, it's understandable why many people would look at this kit and go, it's probably the most... Um, well, of all the kits we've viewed, probably the most obvious me. kit. It annoys, it annoys me. I don't know why, something about yep. it just feels... Do you know some kits just feel achingly familiar? Like it feels yeah. like I've seen it a thousand times before. I think it's because one thing it looks like a template. Uh, I'm not sure if it is or not. Well, and that think- that's the thing I think. So it isn't actually a team wear design. Although having said that, the away kit is. But we'll get onto that in another video. Um, but the home kit. Um, yeah, unfor- unfortunately, and that's, sorry, I had to mention it as a sponsor. It's one of the worst sponsors. Well, that team. that's it's just is probably my what second is that least weird favorite kind of sponsor. Mad Union Jack H thing. Yeah, and this oh. is this is the thing which is my, my least favorite thing. So actually, the design itself has actually, we'll get onto some plus points, but I'm really, really hurt by the sponsor. It's probably my second least favorite after Southampton's. Yeah. The, I mean, I'll list a few things which I don't like. <laughs> One of them is the actual, as you said, the kind of double Union Jack thing. It's just um, terrible. In a it? red, which looks slightly off to the stripes. I yeah. mean, that might look just as bad with the same red, but so there's a lot of red. It's kind of red on red, which doesn't work. Um, You've also got the the typeface, the USG, is that or whatever? Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's naff. Very terrible typeface, along with the Union Jack, and then some writing underneath it, and it looks like they're on the sleeve sponsor as well. So, yeah. personally, I'm not a fan of. I mean, sleeve sponsors. We could talk about that another time, but I don't really like the idea of having that twice. It looks like a really bad sort of. To me, it looks like a really as bad well. sort of political party logo. Yeah, it does, it's, doesn't it? It's yeah, quite it's bad. got that vibe. It's like it does, like a, a, low, a low budget right wing party. Like, it's certainly, that's what it made me think of. Yeah, um, yeah. Not good also, at all. It for me, it feels like the Adidas like logo looks a little bit hard to spot out as well. Should that maybe have been in white or something? I don't know. It's just hard to. Yeah, I'd have to compare it to previous Sheffield United kits. I think they've had it in black before, but I, I know what you mean. I just, think. Doesn't jump out very well. Yeah, I'm and not it, bothered, but you know. Yeah, and it, it's tricky because um, so compared to last year, oh, um, which yeah. is there last we go. Year, yeah, um, obviously the similarities are, are, are quite clear. They've got red sleeves. I'd, I'd I'd have to compare. I think it looks better with red sleeves as opposed to the white sleeves. It reminds me a bit of our video we did on Bournemouth where we were comparing like kind of red or black sleeves. So. A very small thing, but personally, I kind of prefer the red sleeves. I'd have to check if, if that's a common thing or whether white is more common for Sheffield United. Yeah. Um, you know, at the very least, they've, they've got things like the, the place on the crest and the Adidas logo right, which is good. Yeah. Um, one thing I don't particularly like, I feel like with the the cuffs, um, you've got a kind of an interesting little black trim. But that's, that's weird, isn't it, that little trim? Yeah, well, it, to me, if you're not going to deal on the collar, it sort of looks a little bit unbalanced. Having said that, on the back, though, actually, they do have a bit of black at the top. So maybe, maybe that's what they're it's, thinking. It's not a bad kit, this. It's just got, yeah. it's like one of those things where it just feels very team wear, doesn't it? Yeah. It, feels like, it just feels like a bit of team wear. The, it's like uh, a technical yeah. sponsor. It, it's an okay kit. It's just, yeah. it's just. Well, the other small, I'm going to mention the small positive. I feel like it being more positive than I expected it to be, but. They at least have tried, and it's not quite. They haven't managed to do full, full stripes on the back, but they've at least got half half stripes or quarter stripes. And a small, it's a small thing. But last year it was plain red. Um, yeah, is this better than that? I, th- I think it is. It's obviously the bare minimum they could do if they're going to do stripes on the back of the shirt. Yeah. But, um, so it's baby steps forward, but probably two steps back for the sponsor. I think that that's probably the summary. It's um, just a, a yeah, yeah, kit really, in my opinion. But it's I don't hate it. It's just I, I just I just want kit. I think we've been blessed this year by a lot of very good kits. Mm, so yeah. you want it then to jump out and be memorable and be we interesting, and especially when like Norwich and Jeff United they're back in the Premier League. You know, just give them something exciting. Mm. Give them something that the fans will get really excited by. And I don't think either of these kits are excited. You know, excited sure. at all. Oh yeah. But yeah anyway, yeah, this is the bit where I review it. Uh, uh, we gave Norwich, what was it, 72, was it? You gave it? Uh, 72, yeah. Yeah, um, you've got loads of kits there, as you can see on the screen next to us. Where is this one going, Phil, in your opinion? Yeah, I think this one, um, you mentioned kind of how this year has been a good year uh, for yeah. creativity. And, you know, I think even comparing Adidas, and I don't think it's been a great year for Adidas, 
Um, but another Adidas kit which was a lot better, I think, was Watford's. Um, you know, that was a 78. Yeah. Looking further down, so you're actually looking more like kind of, I think, uh, certainly in the 60s, you know, it's not, not enough to be higher than that. Yeah. Um, but when I look at that and look at the 60s there, it's probably... Um, you know, I'd, I'd take it above Leicester's away kit, certainly. Um, and it's probably close to United's home. I don't think it's quite that good. Um, I think United's home is a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Even def- if I don't like some of the bits on there, I think it's no, more it's, it's true. Like, I the think Quest is nice. Uh, I'd like to try a little They've obviously things. done a few things, yeah. Um, so this one, I think it's probably, you know, I'll give it a 65. I think it's kind of in there. Yeah. Um, that's how I feel about it as and well. And it's interesting, kind of talking about City third shirt, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum where that was trying quite a lot. Wasn't to my taste, but actually, um, you know, it's, it says a lot actually that you know this shirt is kind of similar rating in my view, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, and that's the thing with shirts, you know. It's I, funny, if you ask a random person to meet rate this list, it'd be totally different. It would, yeah, and, and that's kind of uh, that's part of the beauty of these these videos. Indeed, guys, that is our rating for the Sheffield United home kit for 2019-20. Did you agree with that score? Let us know in the comments below as ever. Go and check out yesterday's video, which is a Norwich City. Uh, home kit tomorrow or, to, or at least next anyway if it's not tomorrow will be Aston Villa's uh, triumphant return to the Premier League with a very interesting home kit as well which I think Phil isn't a fan of from what I can remember but we'll see anyway <laughs> on the video guys subscribe if you're new to 40.com this is Phil uh, I've forgotten he's been stuck then that's Phil I'm Stephen nice. we'll see you very very nice. soon